evening. I'm Marianne Poutier, the president and co-founder of IntegraCare Corporation. We're rounding out the week of May 11th, and I wanted to take a few moments to update our residents, our families, and our team members on the number one issue in all of our hearts and minds, the safety of our communities in the face of COVID-19. The safeguards we have implemented over these last several weeks continue to protect us very effectively. We have had, since February, one confirmed case of COVID-19 among our residents and also one confirmed case among our team members. The resident, thankfully, has fully recovered, is COVID-free, and living in his permanent apartment in the community. The team member is asymptomatic, quarantined at home, and awaiting a negative COVID-19 test result. We are grateful for the situations as they are today. While every case is potentially heartbreaking, as I'm sure you can imagine, it is worth keeping in mind that those two cases that I mentioned cover 12 IntegraCare communities spanning three states, 675 residents, and 650 team members. So as you can imagine, we are feeling very grateful. Many, many other places in the country have suffered significant, horrific actual rates of infection. We are keeping the virus out of our communities primarily due to the collaboration of the Integra Care team with the leadership teams at our communities, as well as their communication and engagement of the hourly teams to effectively implement our infection control standards supported by follow through by our residents and their supportive family members. I have read many of the same stories that I'm sure you've read or heard on the news over these last several weeks about COVID-19 ripping through so many long-term care communities. And as a result of that, it's a natural question I have been asked by numbers of people, is it safe to be in an Integra Care senior living community? I must tell you that given all that we know today, I firmly believe it is much safer than most other options that seniors may have, particularly versus living at home and relying on home health aides or in hospitals when there are illnesses where the opportunities for the spread of the virus may be more significant. I also believe that it is safer for our team members to work in our communities, our workplaces, particularly as businesses start to reopen to the general public. We have been practicing and reinforcing and improving our protocols since the early stages of the pandemic. As a result, we are enhancing our protocols daily and have numerous solid, effective infection control processes in place. As a result of that, I would like to take a few moments to share with you some of the particular things that we are doing in our communities. I believe we have communicated some of these to you directly, but I thought in totality it would be good to review what has been done thus far. Uh, we are in fact taking the temperatures of our residents each shift, each day, and documenting all vital signs uh, to make sure that we are addressing changes in resident condition. We have established in each of our communities what we are calling a just-in-case quarantine neighborhood to address residents who may be exhibiting any of the symptoms prevalent in the COVID-19 virus and also using that same neighborhood to quarantine new residents or residents returning from a hospital or skilled nursing stay until such time that they have two consecutive negative COVID-19 tests. We have increased our sanitizing routines across all of our communities. We screen each team member daily before they enter the community for their shift. Uh, we are taking a temperature and have hand sanitizing routines before the team member, team member uh, ever steps foot into uh, the resident population and to be with coworkers. We are doing COVID-19 tests on all 
potential team members. In fact, potential team members never set foot in the community uh, until they have a negative COVID-19 test. We are doing all interviewing, uh, reference checking, drug, drug tests, et cetera, virtually so that we can protect our residents and our existing team members. We have secured the necessary personal protective equipment for our team members, and we have also provided protective masks to our residents. Um, I, I need to share that, you know, hundreds of hours have gone into the personal protective equipment, and we are uh, grateful that we've been able to provide what is necessary and have our teams feel confident. We are serving free meals to all of our team members, not only now, but really it long into the future beyond the COVID-19 pandemic, but thereby this is eliminating their need to leave the community for meal break, uh, you know, with the potential of, you know, uh, being in contact with germs outside the community and then returning to the community. We are also serving all the meals to the residents in their units, trying to make them as enjoyable and, and uh, interactive as possible uh, within the quarantine situation. Uh, and also the same thing goes for the engagement programs for residents. We are doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one things, uh, activities that keep residents up and moving to some degree so that uh, their bodies are not deconditioning and several activities to continue to promote mental stimulation. We are laundering all staff uniforms at the community, resulting in each team member getting a clean uniform daily and then changing into their own clothing before returning home to their families. This serves to protect our residents, our team members, and all families. We are doing significant weekly engagement programs for all of our on-site teams and are proud to say that we have a 94% retention rate for our teams since the pandemic began. We conduct two leadership uh, home office calls per week, face-to-face uh, -face by Zoom, and it's really for collaboration, sharing of best practices, implementation of programs and protocols, um, and an opportunity for a peer-to-peer -peer, um, collaboration that's going to result in better protocols and improvement to things that can be improved along the way. I would like to conclude by saying if you have been working or living in an Integra Care community, thank you for doing your part to keep everyone safe and for your confidence in our direction and our leadership. It means everything. If you are considering living or working at Integra Care at this time, I encourage you to take confidence in what you are seeing and hearing in the success that we have had to date in limiting COVID-19 in our home office and our communities and commit yourself to making sure that that continues as we move forward. As we move forward, I will continue to, to provide you with a weekly update uh, in this fashion. I somehow believe that maybe a face-to-face -face or putting a face with the company is probably a healthy thing uh, and maybe a little more useful than reading a list of initiatives that we have in place. Once again, thank you all for your support, your follow-through, your collaboration, your communication. Good night. IntegraCare. Our mission is to improve the quality of life for our team members, residents, and their families.